<clears throat> as well as for station, all the tracks leading to random docks and back were sparkling brand new. Evan and Boko were pleased. Look at all this hard work, said Boko. <clears throat> it's a wonderful thing when you come together. Edward smiled. Exactly. Everything here is perfect. The Northwestern Railways are home. It saved us. I came here in 1915. You came here in 1962. Way before the really were supposed to come. Edward chuckled. <laughs> Well, yeah, so I didn't have to put up with bad treatment. <sighs> I'm just lucky, I guess. That's what we are, lucky. And said Edward. We're celebrating one of the biggest birthdays on this island. Blind Scotsman. <clears throat> One grand big celebration for him when he finally returns from his birthday tour. He said, Bogle, that small birthday celebration we had for him was fun. And that right the big four is one hundred birthday as well. Yeah that word. Any Thomas or Southern Railway <clears throat> or from the Big Four. Other was Melinda the smaller railway of the Southern, but they still count. Or at least... <clears throat> yeah, they still count. Yeah! Well, Thomas does count, said Bokel, because... He's put out of the Southern Railway for the time being. <clears throat> and small... <clears throat> small time, yes. You know, Boko, this French man means a lot to me, to us, to all of us. And that's a blessing. That it is, said Boko. Oh, I do hope Brennan and the others are excited to return to work. They sounded like they were, said Edward. And Salty said, Kalepets is a lot more peaceful. Bill's still doing well on his ranch. And he's finally listening. Well, that's fantastic, said Boko. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Yes, said Edward. Goodbye.